Hi, my name is Risa. I will show you how to use the cutout template in NStudio. The cutout template allows you to add 2D content to the world. No 3D required. Let's get to work. To start, you need to have your 2D image or animated content ready to import. Because your lens will be used on mobile devices, it is important to optimize your content as much as possible. Once you have all your 2D assets ready, you can start building the cutout lens. Open Lens Studio and select the cutout template. I'm going to remove the elephant in this template and walk you through the steps of adding 2D sprites. Drag the elephant texture into the resource panel. If you have a 2D animated content, please check our 2D animation export guide in the Lens Studio documentation. Now let's start adding sprites. Sprites are 2D texture planes in 3D space. They are super useful for placing 2D art in 3D world. We can add a new sprite by using Add New in the Object panel and add a sprite. Now we have an empty sprite in the scene. Make sure your sprites are under the Cutout Scene Controller object. The Cutout Scene Controller sets all its children to the same render order. This ensures that all your sprites are rendered based on their distance to the camera, no matter if you're looking from the front or behind. Let's now set material and texture for the newly added sprite. In the material folder under the resource panel, there are two types of materials provided. Alpha cutout two-sided and alpha blend two-sided. If your image has a hard line cutout, you should use the alpha cutout two-sided material. The elephant over here is a good example of using alpha cutout two-sided material. On the other hand, if your image is semi-transparent, like our props texture here, you should use alpha blend two-sided instead. This will blend the color information with what's behind it in the scene. For the elephant, let's duplicate the alpha cutout two-sided material and rename it to elephant material. It's a good practice to always name your resources, especially when you have a lot of resources in the project. Now we can reference this elephant material in the sprite component of your object. Set the texture of the sprites to our early imported texture. Let's increase the scale of our sprite. It's super tiny now. To make sure the sprite lies on the ground, we need to set a Y pivot position to minus one. Now our elephant is looking good together with all the other animals. You can drag, rotate, and scale each sprite to compose your scene. Once you're happy with the composition, you can tune the collision box to fit your scene. The collision box represents the area the user must touch to manipulate the objects. Let's resize it such that it roughly matches the scene. Let's pair our device and see how the lens looks like in Snapchat. Scan the snap code here and wait for a few seconds as it connects your device. Once it shows that your phone and lens studio are connected, you can then push your lens to device. Wait for a few seconds. You should see your lens inside Snapchat. Now you can try dragging, scaling, or rotating your scene in the real world. Once your lens is ready for submission, please follow the submission guide in Lens Studio documentation. Thank you so much for watching and have fun creating lenses in Lens Studio.